It's rainy Thursday morning in central Illinois. I was able to do a little bit of garage sailing, so I've got a haul video to show you. Let's get into it. I suppose technically this is the last thing that I picked up, but it's the first thing out of the bag. Um, these were a dollar a piece, uh, so I paid nine bucks. This one is the least valuable at six dollars. This one is the most valuable at sixteen dollars, and so the rest are in that you know hovering around ten dollar range. So if I could list the whole thing for eighty dollars. $75 free shipping, then I'll make a small fortune. I may not be able to get that much, but even if I get 60 bucks, it's a $9 investment. Um, they're all complete with the manuals. They're all in pretty good shape. They're all the right one in there too. This is the website that I use price charting in order to um, figure out what video games are worth. It's not 100% accurate, but what it does is averages eBay prices over time. And so it tends to be pretty good. It's definitely a good jumping off point. I was at the checkout line at the estate sale that I went to, um, and these were sitting up there. These are just old 60s McDonald's coffee mugs. They are by Fire King, and you can see the label on the bottom. I'll put it up where I took a better picture earlier. Um, they are... They, and I thought because she had them up by her, maybe she'd have them marked up. But I asked her and she said 25 cents a piece. I ended up giving her a dollar and 50 cents because I was at like 8.50 and that would have put me at 9.25. Anyway, so I was like, let me just give you a $10 bill and call it good. Um, so I did that and uh, and those are already listed on eBay on my boys uh, store because I forgot to log into my store. So I ended up just just giving it to them. Um, but they're listed for $20 plus shipping. And I think they'll sell pretty quick at that price. Okay. And I'm realizing I'm kind of an idiot as I gear up to show you guys this next one. It is a single stitch sleeve and single stitch hem shirt. It just has this, uh, light bulb on it. And then it says lights off on the shoulders and I thought that was an interesting place to have print. It's definitely vintage. Gitano was definitely a uh, 90s brand. And I'm like, gosh, that thing is super long for a t-shirt is what I was just thinking when I was holding it up. And then I noticed here that it says Gitano Knights. And then I'm like, lights off, really long t-shirt. It's a nightgown. But I suspect as a single stitch t-shirt with that kind of length, some lady will buy it as a, uh, some young woman will buy it and wear it as a dress. Oh, what I thought, what really tipped me off was one size. It's a one size fits all t-shirt. That's not how t-shirts work. But evidently in the 90s, that's how uh, nightgowns worked. I don't think it's true either. This one I bought because, well, this is home. Peoria, Illinois. All-American City, single stitch, large, not extra large or 2X large. It needs to be washed, but I bet I can get that stuff out. I just thought this was a really cool shirt, um, and it was 50 cents. All right, and one more shirt, Peoria Speedway. Um, I bought this one, obviously, because it's local vintage. Unfortunately, these local vintage ones I've been finding won't fit me. This is a large on that nice best fruit of the loom and it is double sided peoria speedway 1993 single stitch all the way around and uh she's a beaut she's in really nice shape this one is cherokee brand made in the u.s so it's ladies it's got a just a beach geometric theme on it and it's single stitch pretty cool it needs to be washed too um it has a double hem which is just kind of a unique feature for it. Um, I don't know, 50 cents. I bet I can get 20 bucks out of it if it cleans up well. This is on the, the we're looking at the back side of this shirt. It's on this old, on the Delta tag from the mid nineties. Um, it's an XL and it's from June 15th, 1997. It, I don't know much about baseball, but this says it's the first interleague series. Um, 
Bush Stadium, Cardinals versus the Indians, National League, American League. Um, I thought it's definitely a uh, Cardinals t-shirt from 1997. So it can't, uh, I can't very well go wrong. Bush Stadium. Um, and if that is something that is of significance now because they play these games all the time and this was the first one, well then, cool. So these nine PlayStation games that I bought, these were also sitting on the table. And these are nothing. But uh, since they were a dollar a piece, I was like, would you take 50 cents a piece for these Sega games and just I'll just give you a $10 bill? And she said, sure. So, I threw, so we threw those in and I paid $10 for everything. So these kind of bring me no joy, but they are, they're still, they're a cool piece. They are single stitch. This one's on the Oneida tag. The other one's on a Fruit of the Looms best tag. They're both 3X. I don't know, this one's 2X and that one's 3X. But they are commemorating the Oklahoma City bombing, uh, 1995, I think. But it's showing police, ambulance, fire, the FBI, regular volunteers, the volunteer dogs, the uh, Unites a Nation. And then on the back of this one, special thanks to those who helped and a blue ribbon. And then this one has the blue ribbon on the front, Oklahoma children and their heroes. Um, and then there's some signatures designed by on here, yeah, 1995. And it's the same image, but it's a little bit different. Um, and then the back, this one has a lot more information. I didn't actually read all of that. God bless them all. Um, in memory of R.A. I'm not sure. I wonder who R.A. is. Anyway, um, these were 50 cents a piece, and I'm like... Those are, I hesitate to use the word cool because of the subject matter, but they exist and I felt like picking them up for 50 cents and moving them on to somebody they would be meaningful to is a good idea. Um, and I mean, I'm making money, but I'm, but yeah. Anyway, these are kind of somber. I remember that happening. It was kind of. 95, I was 13. It was kind of the first thing I remember the news breaking on. These are new old stock mud flaps. You can see, like, they should have screw holes in them if they'd been applied, but they've never been applied. There's no package. There is a package of screws still in the plastic that go with them, but they're, uh, I don't have that. They'll wipe down and clean up. I found them in a garage. I paid a dollar for the pair. And new old stock mud flaps I'm usually getting almost $20 a pair for. And those are cool. And then the last thing that I bought, maybe this was a bad idea. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, this box, this huge box, is full to the bottom of Christmas lights. Um, and they're vintage Christmas bulbs. And I paid $5 for the whole box. $5 for all. Um, and I thought, man, if I could do, even if I did a dollar in profit, whatever, whatever, you know, $3.99 plus first class shipping for that, for four, somebody's getting a deal and I've got, I could sell 25 of those. Um, so... I'm going to figure out what's best to do with those. I've never bought Christmas uh, light bulbs in that kind of bulk. And maybe, who knows? I didn't dig all the way to the bottom. Maybe there's some, maybe there's a copy of the Constitution at the bottom of the box. Who knows? Um, so there's the bottom of the box. There's no Constitution. There's the broken and, or missing or messed up somehow. There's the Caleb. And then there's 75 boxes of vintage Christmas lights. So I'm gonna see how I need to lot those together to best make money on them. But for five bucks, it may take me a little bit, but we're headed towards Christmas and so I should be able to get those sold pretty quick. 
But that's all the stuff that I picked up today. All right, guys, welcome back to the storeroom. Uh, got some what solds today. Um, here we go. So I bought these uh, 10 R.L. Stein Goosebumps books. Uh, they were in a box at a garage sale for $3 for the lot of 10. R.L. Stein books don't bring much, but they do sell quickly. Those sold in a day for $15.99 free shipping. So that's more than a dollar a book, and I have like 10 cents. I have 30 cents a piece. I have 30 cents a piece in those books, and they sold for more than a dollar a piece. In that kind of lot, I'm, I'm making some pretty decent money. It's worth my time. It only took a handful of minutes. And then we have two different lots of four uh, Micro Machine Aviation, but neither of these are Micro Machine brand. These are uh, Tootsie Toy brand, little metal planes. Um, and they sold for $12.99 free shipping. But I'm way into the profit on these Micro Machines. I paid $10 for a box. And you guys have seen some of the videos. They sell, I've sold some for $25 and $30 lots. Um, and then these are G.I. Joe brand helicopters. They're not by Micro Machines. They're by Maisto. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's something, it's, it's like a Hot Wheels brand, but it's an off brand. But they're not really super generic. They're well made, but they're not ones that you see everywhere. But there's four different... Uh, G.I. Joe branded helicopters. Um, I don't remember what they sold for. $18.99 free shipping. That's a pretty good sale. Uh, right, and then the same garage sale where I picked up the R.L. Steins, I paid a dollar for uh, this collection of Alien videos. Horror VHS do fairly well. Uh, 80s horror movies I tend to pick up. Even like these aren't, these are kind of sci-fi horror, uh, but they, they didn't do, you know, fantastic. I think they, they sold for $9.99 free shipping, which it'll cost me $3 to ship them. I got a dollar into them. I about doubled my money when I'm said and done. How about another Nintendo game? Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia is still a game that is being made. They're still running this series. Uh, it had a damaged label on it, and so, and it has the video rental place where somebody bought it years and years ago um but it's a popular game uh, it sold for 16.49 if you find one with a clean label it's worth significantly more than that but this one with that messed up label um just isn't going to bring full price so that one sold 16.49 free shipping sold this little nike tank top this is probably early 90s not in super great shape, but you guys know I, I did a video. I paid a quarter for it, and it sold for $13 plus shipping. I lied. It was $13 free shipping. All right, and next up we have this uh, Scott's Brothers Perfecto jacket. These are normally really high dollar, but this one's in bad shape. I'll put up some pictures off of the website. I picked this up at a garage sale for $20, um, and I thought it would be a lot better than it was turns out it uh is in pretty bad shape and it's not the uh it's not the kind of model that everybody's looking for it doesn't like scream biker jacket uh which is what people would want out of that scott's perfecto but the uh it's still i've had it for like three weeks and it sold for um it sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping the it came from the same place as all of those horror movie uh posters and a whole bunch of really good cassette tapes that you guys will start seeing here pretty quick um tomorrow starts the biggest yard sale day of central illinois the spoon river drive where uh a bunch of vendors um it's almost like our tiny version of like the route 127 or the i think they call it route 40 sale um it's almost like that here it's miles and miles it's an entire county has yard sales everywhere um, and my boys are out of school so i might do i might start on that on friday morning and uh then see if we want to go as a family on saturday and do a, make a day out of it i don't know how much videotaping i'll be able to do but no doubt you guys will see the the stuff i get when i get it and or when it sells. Um, thanks for watching, guys. 
Don't forget to click subscribe.